I am Catherine Hughes, the head teacher of Loretto High School in Chalton. International Women's Day provides us with an opportunity to reflect on and to celebrate the many diverse, extraordinary and ordinary women who inspire us. One of these women is Mary Ward, our foundress. What was it about this woman who was born in 1585 in York that aroused such deep suspicion and fear? so much so that the Pope said that she and her friends should be suppressed, extinct, rooted out, destroyed and abolished. What was it about this woman that prompted people to call her a dangerous visionary? What was it about this woman? She dared to imagine that girls should receive an education alongside boys. And she didn't just dare to imagine, she dared to act. I'm going to hand over now to some other inspirational young women to talk about Mary Ward, Loretto and International Women's Day. Hi, my name is Tanya and I'm the head girl at Loretto High School. Today I'm going to be talking about International Women's Day. As a Catholic, I believe that women are just as important as men. Mary Ward once said, women in time to come will do much. She wanted equal opportunities for women such as um, jobs, education and also the right to vote. So I'd like to take this opportunity on this special day to congratulate all the women around the world for their hard work and effort in everything they did and yet to do. So happy International Women's Day. Thank you. Hi, my name's Kira, and I'm Deputy Head Girl at Loretto High School, Chalton. Our founder is called Mary Ward and she travelled across Europe during the 16th century setting up schools for girls despite backlash and lack of resources. She was a pioneer of women's rights and on International Women's Day we think it's important to carry on her work in creating equal opportunities in education for all. Hi, I'm Millie Barnett from Loretto High School. As part of Mary Ward's plan to improve education for girls, she formed a society and opened many schools for young women. The Council of Trent had ordered that all nuns were to be enclosed in convents, but Mary disagreed and set off on a 1500 mile walk across the Alps to Rome to petition Pope Gregory XV to allow for a more active life for nuns to sit, serve God. The Pope passed the petition on to his bishops and died before reaching a verdict. Mary returned to Rome for a second time in 15, 1629, again walking the treacherous journey across the Alps. She was allowed to plead her case, but it was suppressed by Pope Urban and the Cardinals. Despite this, she continues her work as she believed women were capable of great things. This International Women's Day, we celebrate joy in womanhood because many girls across the world have less boundaries to cross to be successful in less fortunate areas. That in itself is something to be joyful about. Hi, I'm Alex. Happy International Women's Day. Today I'm talking about Mary Ward's value of justice because not only did she endanger her life to help educate young women, but she also helped those who were being persecuted or imprisoned just for being Catholics. She did this knowing her life was in danger, but she didn't turn a blind eye to the injustice that was happening. She's left a huge message for women of this generation. One of Loretto High's core values is internationality, and on International Women's Day, we celebrate women all over the world. This day is a perfect opportunity to learn about women's rights and what we can do to help. We normally fundraise for Loretta Rumbeck in South Sudan. The school's dropout rates have remained under 5% since 2014. This is excellent and over 62% of the girls have attended school, whereas in 2014 only 30% of girls were attending school. Thank you. Our student council have previously arranged multiple events for International Women's Day raising money to support the Loretto Girls' School in Rumbeck. Over the past three years, we have raised just under £10,000 to aid the school in their goal to educate girls from ages 5 to 20. On Wednesday the 17th of March 2018, an auction was held at the hall in our school to raise money. It was a great experience to take part in and many people from the Loretto community were very charitable to a great cause. There have been many other fundraising events such as a fashion show in 2019 and a Kaylee in 2020. We used International Women's Day to support girls' education in South Sudan. 
During school, we also fundraise by selling badges, making and selling cakes. During breaks and lunch, many people would join and interact in activities relating to International Women's Day. In school, we also invite women from different careers to speak to our peoples. This highlights the fact that women no longer have to fit a stereotypical and outdated mould. Bringing awareness to this allows our female peoples to expand their horizons when looking for a career. Hi guys, my name is Gifty Manti and I was a part of International Women's Day last year. Um, from this, I learned so many different things, but one thing that stood out to me was how unified we all were, no matter the race, gender or age. It's so important to keep on carrying on this march because it's not going to happen in a split second. We just have to keep pushing forward so that the change can be permanent and it can be really significant. Thank you. I think it's important to celebrate International Women's Day because it celebrates the accomplishments that women have achieved and the obstacles that they've overcome. It's also important because it helps us celebrate the important women of the past who have helped us get to where we are today. International Women's Day is a time to reflect on progress made, to call for change and to celebrate acts of courage and determination made by women. It's important we remember the rough journey women had been through in order to be seen as equals to men, despite there being issues in today's society. Therefore, International Women's Day is a reminder that we are strong and need to challenge the patriarchy.